Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. This week in our devotionals, we are revisiting certain aspects of the Gospel of Luke as we prepare to resume this series. Today, we will review some key insights that we've gained from Luke chapter 3. Firstly, John the Baptist prepares the way. In Luke chapter 3, Luke tells us of the beginning of John the Baptist's ministry in the wilderness. We read in verses 3 to 6. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked paths shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. John is the promised prophet who will prepare the way for the Lord to come to his people. The people had been waiting for the Messiah and now John is preparing the way for him. However, some wonder if in fact that John himself was the Messiah. And we read in verses 15 to 16, the people were waiting expectantly and we're all wondering in their hearts if John might possibly be the Messiah. John answered them all, I baptise you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will come, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. John is clear and quick to teach the crowds that he was preparing the way for the Messiah who is worthy of worship and who will baptise with the Holy Spirit and fire. He will give people a new heart by the Spirit and will sanctify his people by the fire of the Spirit as Malachi the prophet promised. In Malachi 3.1, I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire and a launderer's soap. Secondly, Jesus is baptised. As the crowds listening to John's call for repentance are baptised, we have this surprising moment when Jesus, who clearly doesn't need to repent, comes to be baptised. We read in verses 21 to 22. When all the people were being baptised, Jesus was baptised too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Finally, Luke ends by giving us Jesus' genealogy. He records this genealogy as running through David and back to Adam because as Adam's sin has brought the consequences of sin on all people, so Jesus' perfect life and death will end sin's effects for all people. So in response, what are some of the things that God wants us to learn from this chapter? Here are three ideas, but there are so many things in this chapter. Firstly, Jesus is the promised Messiah. May we, like as the Father declared, be well pleased with him. He's the Messiah that has been promised. He has come to save from sin, but he would also complete his work by undoing all that Adam's sin has caused. We're called to live with future hope that Jesus will restore all 
things. So as we look back, may we also look forward with great hope. Secondly, John called people to repent in practical ways. We are to live worthy of our calling. Are we seeking to live holy lives as the Holy Spirit's fire continues to purify us? Finally, Jesus' baptism was about him identifying with sinners and was prophetic of his death and resurrection for sinners. Have we been baptised? Do we remember that it speaks of Jesus' death and resurrection for us and of our death and resurrection in him? As we finish, why don't you read over the whole of Luke chapter 3 and pray into anything that the Holy Spirit causes to stand out to you. God bless you.